All right, this is the Practice Algebra 2 ELC question number 32. And the question says, a report showed that 20% of the batteries produced in a factory were faulty. What is the probability that a box of 10 batteries produced in this factory will contain exactly two faulty batteries? Okay, well, this is kind of an interesting problem here. Uh, before you can even solve this, you're going to have to know a formula. This is a binomial probability problem. And that binomial probability formula is going to be the probability of x equals n choose x p to the x q to the n minus x. So of course you're looking at that formula and you're like holy Moses what in the world does that mean? Okay well this is just we're going to talk about this later and this is actually in the front of your formula sheet so that's actually okay but pretty much what this is going to mean is that n just means the number of trials that you have your x is going to be your number of successes your p is going to be the probability of successes and your q is going to be your probability of failures. I know failures, sad times, right? But your x here in this problem at the top of your p, that's going to be how many of those successes you have, how many, and then this is going to be how many of the failures that you have. Well, pretty much if you know all of that, you can plug these things into this problem to kind of help you solve this a whole lot easier, okay? But again, you're having to try to pull out the information that's important. It says the report showed that 20% of the batteries produced in a factory were faulty. Okay, and since this is a binomial theorem, that means we either have one option happening or the other. Okay, so the binomial theorem means that in this problem we have batteries that are faulty. That's going to be technically our success because we want to know what happens it, when the batteries are faulty or what's the probability of them being faulty. Okay, then it says what is the probability that a box of 10 batteries, so how many total batteries do we have? We have 10 total batteries. Okay, so if you try to plug this into your formula, the number of trials that you have are going to be 10 because you have 10 total batteries, okay? And then you have the C, and then X is the number of successes. Well, I said the number of successes is how many faulty batteries that we have. Well, we want to know that we have two faulty batteries. So it's going to be 10 choose 2. All right, now setting up the rest of this. I have written up here that P is the probability of successes. Well it says right here that there's a 20 percent chance that the batteries are faulty so you're gonna write that as a decimal as point two zero and how many of those batteries out of the ten would be faulty well that's just gonna be two of them okay well now your Q is gonna be the probability of failures okay so now if you had a 20 percent chance that you know the batteries are gonna be faulty the complement of that or the opposite of that or the rest of it is going to be an 80 percent chance of failure okay and how many of those batteries are going to be working properly well if two of them were working improperly then the other eight are going to be working properly okay so we pretty much have most of this set up already so that we have it solved but now we just have to figure out what is this 10 choose 2 portion okay well in the front of your book you can kind of figure this out by looking at 10 factorial over 2 factorial times 8 factorial it'll kind of give you what the formula is going to be for this or you can plug this into your calculator in a lot easier way if you plug into your calculator the number 10 and then if you pressed math and slid over to probability and press option 3 and press number 2 it's going to give you 45 but pretty much I can kind of show you really quickly what this really would look like if you did 10 factorial that means you're going to have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 4 3 2 1 2 factorial is going to be 2 times 1 and then 8 factorial is going to be 8 times 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, pretty much since you're dividing, you can pretty much just start canceling things out. So your 1 is going to cancel, your 2s, your 3s, 
your fours, your fives, your sixes, your sevens, and your eights. So you're just left with 10 times 9 on the top, which is 90, 2 times 1 on the bottom, which is 2, and then 90 divided by 2 is 45. So in the front of this formula, this 10 choose 2 should just become a 45. So given this information that we just figured out, you realize that F can't be correct, neither can G because you don't have your 45. H can't be correct, so your final answer for this problem is going to be J. Good luck. Do the best you can.